also, um, I think I, I won't repeat what my co-panelists have shared about the importance of financing women in general, both for development as well as for entrepreneurship and why that is important. I think across the world today, we are seeing a absolute surge in promoting women backed enterprises for all the right reasons. Uh, that said, and while there is support required, particularly for at the grassroots level, um, and initiatives such as DBS and Opaque are most welcome, I think in the, in the formal sector, so to speak, in the mainstreaming, it's quite important as well. I think it is important to recognize that women-backed enterprises can actually generate market returns and are fully mainstream. Women just need uh, a hearing sometimes, a friendly investor ear. Uh, in, soci in societies uh, that are not as conducive to promoting women in leadership, they need some doors open from time to time. But otherwise, I think women-backed enterprises can be fully competitive and successful. And I'm going to talk about one of them who's sitting here. Uh, Reha Botwani here at Fraternity, who's building a tremendous terrific business. Uh, she, she started a few years ago. Um, Did you invest in her? Yes. Oh, <laughs> well done. <laughs> you got to eat your cookie. Yeah. So yes, I did. And uh, so I think when it comes to formal private equity, formal private equity has to play by a certain set of rules, which is we it are does. first and foremost. First and foremost, we are great returns for your investors. You know, that's a fiduciary statutory obligation. And we do so, and we do so while investing behind women-led women enterprises and women entrepreneurs. I'm in the process actually of now setting up a new platform that will help companies that are market facing in India for the most part, men and women backed to scale up. So we talk a lot about Startup India and some of you who attended the plenary yesterday would have heard about that as well. There's a lot of support for that. There's a startup ecosystem that has developed quite nicely over the last 15 years. I think it is time to create a scale up ecosystem so as to take smaller businesses that have scalable business models and really turbocharge them with capital, with business building support, and create large enterprises out of them. I'll pause and I'm sure we'll talk a little bit more. Very good. Thank you, Anjali.